Hello, welcome. So today I'm going to try to be as quick as possible because I have to leave in a little bit less than 30 minutes. And I want to show you all of the things that are in my hospital bag. So we'll do what's mine and Jenna's and then also the baby bag backpack. Um, it's really more of just like a diaper bag at this point for the baby for on the way home. But there's a little bit in there too, so let's get it going. Okay, this is my bag. So it's just a rolly backpack, but I will show you what's in. All right, I'm gonna start with the front pocket. We'll just put it here. Okay, first thing is kind of like all of like, you know, shampoo, conditioner, stuff like that, uh, deodorant, uh, dry shampoo, which I don't really use, but I thought you never know. And, uh, yeah, toothpaste, uh, lip balm, nipple cream. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Next thing I have is, this is actually two different hospital paperwork, because today is actually February 29th, and so if I had labor before, I would be at one hospital, and if it's after, then I go to another one. It's, I don't know if I explained this before, but whatever. So I have paperwork. Next, I have this, which is kind of like a haka. It's like a fake haka. Um, you know, it's like a, I guess it's a breast pump, but it's more like a manual one. I just figure if I need to, I can use it. You never know. Maybe breastfeed on one side, have this on the other. I don't know. Thought I would just bring it. It's small. Nail clippers. I have two toothbrushes. These are just, uh, I wanted to leave our electronic ones here at home. So these are ones that I got from the dentist a while ago. So I'm just going to use those. So, hey, if you get toothbrushes from the dentist, don't throw those out. You never know. Uh, next is called Sits Bath Spray. And really what this is, it's like Dermaplast. And I will leave all the links down below. I use Dermaplast. Um, with my first baby, it's like a spray for your vaginal area for, um, you know, soothing purposes, taking care of all of that. And this one is just like a more natural type, and it is from Mother Love. Um, I'm sure the hospital itself probably will have it, but I'm just going to kind of keep my own in there just in case. And I have two different cords here. Uh, this one, is this just one? Yeah, well, I have two of these, but um, they're like two cords for the phone. They're really, really long cords. And then I have this one, which is a micro USB, and I don't know why it's there, but if I need it, okay, that's why it's there. <laughs> it's for the external hard drive battery. Um, yeah, you just never know. I mean, maybe you can't plug into the wall or something like that. You want to walk around with a battery. So that's why we have one. Why not? Other cord. Oh, here's the shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> and a wet brush. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one more thing is $20 worth of quarters. <laughs> uh, you never know. You know, you might need the vending machine. And I actually got these from my mom. She gave me money a while ago and it was a bunch of coins. So, you don't know. I mean, works. <laughs> and I would probably just bring some money with you anyways because you just never know if the cafe's closed or I don't know if you didn't bring snacks or maybe you ate all of your snacks and then you're starving and you want the vending machine food and then you'll be sad if you don't have any coins. Although a lot of machines now probably accept cards, but you know, never hurts. <laughs> okay, so that is everything in the front pocket. Now the big pocket. I have this, which I know it looks really big, but this is just like a USB hub, so you can plug it into the wall, and then it has multiple ports that you can use. Um, we used to have a smaller one that had like four ports, and I don't know where it is, so we got this for Christmas. So I thought I'd just bring it with us so we can just plug one thing in and then plug all our other devices in, whatever we need. And this is my robe. I bought it from Amazon for really, really cheap, and it works really well. And I'm 5'2", well, 5'1", 5 5'2", 5 and right now I'm around 190 pounds. Hey. I know, don't judge me, <laughs> but um, I got this and I think an extra large. I will put my size and everything down below so you can just see what it looks like. It is from Anna King. So it's pretty much like 
half sleeve, quarter sleeve, and a little bit past my butt. And it's a good size, it's thin, I don't want anything too thick. So there's that. Um, here I just have some maternity leggings. And this is just like a tank top. So this is just a really loose and flowy tank top as you can see. And that's just for after, if we're gonna go home, I'll have like a sweater too, cause it'll be cold. <laughs> But I just wanted something that was loose and I could pull down if I needed to, you know. I'll probably just use the robe most of the time, but... And this is just my sweater. And here are my slippers. Um, but they're actually flip-flop slippers, as you can see. And the reason why is I actually use these with my first baby. I've had them that long and I love slippers, but my feet get too hot. And so these are nice because they're slippers, but they're flip flops. So they keep my feet comfortable and warm yet not too hot. And I really like them. It says they're from pink. I don't know. I got them a really long time ago. So I found them and I cleaned them and now I'm going to use them and they're ready. Either I could say you can use the hospital socks or you can use slippers. I prefer to use slippers. I don't like the hospital socks. They're just not comfortable for me. I will probably get some and I will just give them to Jenna because she likes them better. Um, I do have a few different breast pads if necessary. Most of the time I use these, like currently I'm using them, just to cover like the nipple area. Um, you know, but I mean if there's a leak, I guess you can use that, but I typically don't. But I just like using them in my like sports bras and stuff like that. And then I have a bra and underwear for Jenna. And I have, let's see here, uh, apparently I have another pair of pants I didn't realize were in there, just leggings. And then I have a bra and two underwear for me. Um, I'll probably have a bra on when I go and I'll just use that. And then I have a heating pad. You never know, you might need a heating pad. And they do have like those disposable heat packs that you can press on, but it's just wasteful. So I was informed last time to bring my own heating pad. And if I can need it, then I'll have it. And that is everything for me. Honestly, you don't really need that much. Pretty much just clothes and your toothbrush and shampoo and stuff like that. Maybe cords. I mean, obviously we'll have like laptop, camera, things like that. But that's going to be a last minute put in because obviously we're still using... I will bring the laptop and the camera, but you know we're still using it right now. So we're not going to pack it. So... <laughs> oh, and also... One more thing before the baby bag I'm going to bring. So that is this. And this has my breast pump in it. Now, I don't intend on using it in the hospital. However, you never know. I mean, sometimes if something were to happen and I'm not able to directly breastfeed, then I will use a pump if possible. So I just wanted to bring my own and then, you know, the hospital, midwife, whatever, they can help me to make sure that I'm using mine properly. Um, and I have a, gosh, I have a Spectra S1. So that's the blue one. So it's already charged. And I have my flanges ready. And one thing I wanted to recommend is, let me get it for you. As you can see, I have two parts here. So there are different inserts that you can get for your flanges because these are 24s. Um, I will go ahead and link the group that I have on Facebook that you can do sizing for breast pumps. Um, and the person there, Crystal, she is really great. Um, she can help you to get the proper sizing for your breast and you can either pay or do the free one. Um, but I'll go ahead and link all of that down below just to make sure you have the proper size because it actually does help a lot. So I just have a breast pumping bra and all my other things that I need in there. So there's that. Okay, so what do we have for the baby? Again, you don't really need that much, but I will show you what we have. So for the baby, this is the exact same backpack that we used for Miko. Um, we do have another diaper bag for Miko himself that we packed everything, diapers, clothes, shoes, all of that, just ready in case we need to drop them off at somebody's house. But this is gonna be for the baby and eventually I'll probably combine them together. But we have wipes, obviously. 
Uh, really, they're not necessary in the hospital. They provide you wipes, but we just keep them in there anyways because this is a diaper bag. And then, I don't think... Yeah, no, there's nothing in there. And in here, just nail clippers, baby nail clippers. You never know. Some babies are born with talons. Seriously. <laughs> and nothing in there. And then the big pocket. Again, honestly, you don't need that much. Uh, I would say most things, again, honestly, you don't need. But we're just keeping them in the bag just in case, you know. Um, I have two different swaddle blankets. Uh, funny enough, this one is actually Miko's. And Jenna's mom still has the picture of Miko in this swaddle blanket on her phone for this whole time. It's really cute. So, you can see it's just got a bunch of words on it. And this one is just polka dots, I think. Yeah. So, like I said, mostly just for pictures or whatever. I mean, if you want to swaddle on your own. But again, the hospital will provide that. And then I have, I think these are just all, let me see. These are all newborn diapers. Um, you know, if we need something on the way home, honestly, again, you're not going to need them because the hospital will provide a bunch and you can probably take what you want, but we're just going to keep them in there for future reasons. Um, and I also need to add in the size one diapers. I bought both, um, you know, because you never know. And yes, I do have pacifiers. Um, I actually bought these a long time ago for Miko. I don't know why I didn't use them, but... Miko did use a pacifier in the hospital. Again, hospital will provide those if you want. But um, I just like to have them just in case, you know, if the baby needs them, um, you know, for if they have latching problems or whatever. So it's just good to have those. And then I have a little tiny baby hat. Look how small this is. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Precious. And then this, yes. So this is actually something you can put the pacifiers in and then it attaches to your bag. Um, but right now I have these pacifier clips. I have both and which are Miko's old pacifier clips and they still work. So I'm going to use them. Um, and then the rest are just clothes and that's pretty much it. Um, let's see here. I got a little jacket. Just, uh, you know, bought it from the thrift store. And a cute little onesie. And then some baby pants. Mm, so cute. <laughs> and then just a long sleeve white onesie. And a little sleeper. And it says, my mommy loves me. Which is true, we do. <laughs> and then this is another sleeper. And it looks like it has the I love you symbol, but actually just like a, a hang 10 symbol, I guess. And I think that is it. Yeah, so like again, probably we'll bring like one or two bottles just in case we feel like, you know, we can't breastfeed and we need a bottle. We will leave those in the car with the breast pump. I'm not actually going to bring it in unless we feel we actually need it. Um, and with this baby bag, I don't know. We'll see. But that is it. Um, I have to get going soon for work. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and let me know what things you think that I'm missing from my bag. Um, is there anything that I need? I'm pretty sure I looked through my old um, baby bag hospital video, which I'll put up here. Um, I had a lot of things. But again, um, if I'm induced, then I'll bring things like games or movies or stuff like that. But it's a totally different story if it's natural. So generally, other than that, you just need a baby car seat. And I think that's it. Yeah. Um, we got a cover for the car seat, which is in the car. And uh, remember, honestly, a lot of this stuff, you probably don't even need it all. The hospital provides you with mother and baby almost everything that you need other than maybe clothes and shampoo. I mean, you can bring like a pillow if you want to bring your own pillow. 
Um, I might bring one, I might not. Honestly, it's really not that awful. If you want to bring your own towel, you can. But again, I'll just probably, I don't really care. I'll use the hospital one. Um, yeah, so again, I will leave links for everything down below. And let me know if you are pregnant and due soon. I'm due in about two weeks, approximately two weeks from filming this. So really excited. I'm ready. Like, I feel horrible and I'm ready. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.